Hey guys, so I only had enough resin to change uh, out for one system. Uh, I don't know if this used to be Brandon's or Sebastian's, it doesn't really matter, right? So this system right here is ready to go. This system is not. The one sitting over by the pressure washer still has got to be uh, have the DI changed in it. Uh, normally when I change out these filters and, and the resin, I like to go hook it up to a tap to make sure that we don't have any leaks. Well, guess what? The water tap down the end of our storage building here, they've got it shut off, no longer works. So, what I'm doing is I'm leaving, you see there's a filter wrench. This one fits the blue one. And then I'm gonna leave this right here with it. The white one, the white one fits this. So if you hook this up tomorrow and have any leaks, then uh, you can use those filter wrenches. I've got more DI resin on the way. That's not going to be here till Friday. So this one's sitting uh, by the pressure washer. Basically, don't use it this week. Uh, but this one's ready to go. Uh, very important. This particular white filter wrench, it's the only one we have of its size. We have a, a similar sized black one, but... Just for fun, it doesn't fit our filters. So right now, this filter, the filter on there, the filter on the uh, old Tucker cart, this is the only filter wrench we have. So make sure you don't lose this. And in fact, after you go out for the day tomorrow and you hook it up and you have verified that uh, you don't have any leaks or if you need to tighten whatever, long story short, when you get back here at the end of the day, take that white filter wrench and hang it up on one of these hooks behind the ladders. Thanks guys.